Wednesdays on the show, local food reviews here in the best city in America, Chicago, Illinois, and arguably one of the best barbecue spots in the city limits, Green Street, smoked meats in the heart of the West Loop, arguably the best neighborhood for food. Yeah, man. That's um, true. So today we're headed there and we're getting the hot pastrami sandwich. There's so many things, all the meats there, the elotes are amazing, but we've both never had, and this is your first time going, yeah. we've never had the pastrami from there, so. My taste buds are sexually stimulated. You ready? <laughs> you get full mast? Okay, come on, let's keep it. We're not like most shows. <laughs> We're doing it. Two hot pastrami sandwiches from Green Street Smoked Meats Acquired Jump Cut. All right, I'm excited. Me too. Let's do a Corey Wagner second angle. Oh, I love this. So they have the buns separate. So it's like a little build your own. And also, the world's biggest pickle, which I oh love. my lord. And then in here, we've got the pastrami. Whoa, look oh, at that. Oh, man. It looks nice and fatty. You got all these different, like, what do you call that crust on there? Do they have like a name for like pastrami crust? I don't know, I always call it a char. I don't know if that's char. right. Char, oh, it just looks so good and tender and juicy and delicious. I'm already excited to construct this. Yeah, I'm kind of digging the fact that they don't just try to do it and then it's all mushy. Yes! Like, I, I was me, worried about I don't, that. I don't mind the little bit of work. We were talking off camera about how it's so hard to like maintain quality during the pandemic when I don't know how much takeout they were really doing. Right. And now, I don't want to. I don't want a crappier version of Green Street Smoke. Right. I want the whole thing. The best, you know? yeah. yeah. I'm way happy that that's how they do it. Me too. All right. Green Street Smoked Meats, number six with cheese. The collab. Just kidding. It's just us eating here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hot pastrami. Mmm. 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 Shut up. That pastrami is so good. Oh my god. It's so salty. It's so salty, and it's the flavor is so deep. Yeah. It's hit me in the core. Barbecue is one of those things like smoking food. Mm. It's like I remember the first time I had it, and it's it's like I unlocked a cheat code or a level in a video game where I wasn't getting the full flavor of foods, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it was like I'm reborn. Yep. I don't and I'm getting that again, like right now. Yeah, I call uh, BS. BS meaning before smoked. So anything before I had smoked meats uh -huh. was like a different life, and then there's AS. Yeah. Anything after smoked meats. Yep. I was a different person. I was probably like 16 or 17 when I first had it. So the first 16 years of my life were BS. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. everything I've had about 16 to 17 years of uh, AS mm -hmm. after smoke. It's a religion channel now. Yeah. <laughs> and we're your gods. Pray to us. <laughs> Look at that brisket, dude. It is so full of flavor. I don't know if you can do brisket better than. I'm sorry. I'm saying brisket. I mean pastrami. I, I'm in a, a food state of. Confusion. Food shock. Mm hmm So did it live up to the hype? Oh yeah, big time. Man, this is so good. The way brown mustard goes with a sandwich like this. This is the. This is like the the reason it's supposed to be. Like whoever made yellow mustard and was like, some guy was like, hold on. For sandwiches like this, I think I got a hack. I'm gonna add a bunch of stones to it or whatever they do. <laughs> the way it just thought was like disintegrating by yeah. touch. That's how it's supposed to be. They also make my favorite thing better than I've ever had it done. Mm. Beef short rib, mm -hmm. it's a very expensive cut of meat. My dad came to visit and we literally got $80 worth of it. So good though. And we just sat there with like a half pound of it, a pound, I don't know what it was, and just ripped it off the bone. Oh, pastrami and brisket and beef short rib. They have really good cheddar links. Their elotes are insane. It's so good. Gosh, I'm stuffed, I'm gonna finish this. We can't not. Right? The West Loop doesn't do very many things wrong. Wow. Moans and groans. Yeah, I'm in heaven. I'm gonna be pretty bold. This is one of the top 10 things we've had on the show in four years. I'm gonna say it. I believe it. This is like truly making me so happy. I'm gone. <sighs> yeah, I'm in a bit of a meat coma. All right, um, before we go ahead and rate the pastrami sandwich from GSM, GSSM? <laughs> oh, that sounds like a sexual thing. I like it. Meet me downstairs at GSSM. 
Well, I wasn't thinking like a location, more like, yeah, my neighbors are really into GSSM. <laughs> That's true. I haven't really tried it yet, yeah. but it apparently it involves hot pastrami, so I'm gonna give it a go. Mm. Uh, let's do a shout out. Cameo shout out, cameo shout out, cameo shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we finally got ourselves a cameo. All you gotta do is go to cameo.com forward slash number six with cheese, and you know what you can get with that? Any type of shout out you want. You just pay us a couple of bucks, tell us what you want, and we'll get on the phone and deliver you a nice, nice little video message elating you with birthday greetings or promotional celebratory sayings. Just hop on there, pay the money, and we'll do it. And anybody who does it, we're gonna give them a little bit of a shout out. Today's cameo shout out, the Raven 5 marketing office bought a cameo for Sean and Corey to to go ahead and roast and be nice as well to Mr. Michael Bickerton. So they work up there in Canada and uh, they wanted us, Michael was turning 60, so we did a birthday wish for him. We, I think we sang for He's a Jolly Good Fellow. Yeah. Um, yeah. In beautiful har harmony, because we're beautiful songbirds. Yeah, we've got great voices. So we got to do that. So uh, thank you so much to the Raven 5 team. They also support and sponsor the show every single month, so they're near and dear friends. So Michael, hope you liked the uh, shout out and happy birthday. Moment of truth. Out of five, smokers. How many smokers do you give the pastrami sandwich from Green Street Smoked Meats? I think before tax and tip about 12, 13 bucks. Yeah, I think I so. I believe. Corey, you're up first. Oh man, that was fantastic. The way that the pastrami just was falling apart, it was super juicy, super tender, super, super delicious, super full of flavor. And I like that doing the takeout, they have you build your own. We talked about it at the beginning of this. I feel like if that would have been sitting for a little while, like how juicy those meats are, on the bun waiting for us to come pick it up, that bun might get a little bit ravaged. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the right word? Ravaged? No, the but that, right? that's ravaged. Such, ravaged is a cooler word. Yeah, just go. Like, just, yeah. Oh yes, and ravaged. Yeah, that's a new ravaged. Word. Yeah. Uh, so I'm glad that they had, like figured out a great way to, to do the to go during this pandemic. Yeah. So props to that. Um, yeah, one of the best meats I've ever had in my life. That's a five. No brainer. <laughs> Nothing else to say. I love this place. The pastrami sandwich did not disappoint. Five out of five. Smoke the meat and smoke with daddy. That's a type of place I feel like it's gonna be high on the list that people are gonna see that who are coming to Chicago and that's gonna be a no-brainer visiting spot. Like people are making lists. Like some of our fans are like where they gotta go when they come yeah. on vacation here. And I feel like that's part of the part of the group now. That's on the top of my list when I when I have my little copy and paste that I send to people when they ask. Green Street, when anywhere someone's staying anywhere close to downtown and they're fine venturing to West Loop, Green Street is at the top of that. Mm -hmm. I say Skip off Cheval if you only can pick one or the other because this place has more range and their bar is so cool I can't wait to go there with you when they're when the world's back yeah, up and running dude. plus their alleyway that they did it So sick it's so sick um, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode of the show Thursday, so we're probably let's see. What are we smashing tomorrow? I think Cadoba. Yeah, I think a little, so. A little yeah, Cholula yeah. hot and sweet chicken burritos. So come back tomorrow. We'll hit that national audience with some Cadoba, and we hope you guys have a greasy and salty night. That's right. Peace. Shoo.